What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. I want to get right into it discussing UFC 273's main card bout between Gilbert Burns and Hamzat Shmaev. Very exciting, a lot of implications. This is Hamzat's official, almost number one contender match. I guess you can say he's 4-0 right now in the UFC, 10-0 in his career, he's dominated everybody. He's, I think, maybe taken one punch in his four fights, maybe two punches. I mean, the dude has just looked unbeatable to me. I really think, and you can call me crazy here. I don't care. You can call me fucking crazy. But to me, I feel like he's going to be the UFC's first three weight class simultaneous UFC champion. 170 pounds, 185 pounds, and 205 pounds. I think Hamzat Shamayev really has the ability, the size. He's like perfect. Like somehow he makes 170 pounds and he makes it look like he does it easy. And what he did to Li Jing Liang, I mean, he looks so much bigger than him, so much more powerful, so much more technical. It almost looked like the guy had no chance, and that was number nine in the, in the in the division. And the way he was able to take out Gerald Mearshart, who for me is like, people sleep on Gerald so hard. The guy is such a savvy veteran. And Hamza took him out in 17 seconds. I mean, he's just like, hold my fucking beer, guys. I got this shit. I'm going to smash these guys. And apparently what he's been doing to Darren Till in the training room, what he's been doing to Sean Strickland in the training room. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to you guys, use you guys as examples, but it's been all over the internet. The schmo even said that he's, like, I think it was yesterday that he tapped uh, Strickland on the ground a few times in the training sessions. I don't really like to talk about training sessions, but it's a real thing. Hamza was apparently ragdolling at Alexander Gustafsson over fucking uh, Sweden. So... It's really not out of the realm to see him dominate at three different weight classes. He has that size. He has that ability to really go out there. He has the wrestling style, too, to dominate all three guys. He can beat Usman, I think. It's very possible. I think he can beat Adesanya. He can, he can very possibly beat whoever's at 205, whether if it's Glover Teixeira, Yuri Prohaska, uh, Alexander Rakic, whoever's really going to be that champion a couple of years from now. Who really knows? And Hamza, I think that guy has the ability, the star power too. I mean, right now, his autograph right now is 2022 Prism right now online is at $5,600. Like, what the fuck? Like, his shit is selling like crazy. I think his 101 Prism sold for like 15 grand on eBay today. Like, that this dude is the new hotness in all of MMA right now. And everybody's trying to get everything that they can of his stock. Because it's right now, it's just going up, 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 and up. And Gilbert Burns... You cannot count Gilbert Burns out of this fight, guys. Like, he really does have a chance. He can pull a knee bar out. He does have the hands. He does have that power to put people out. He can't catch Hamza, but, like, it's just like every time I play in my head, I just don't see it happening. Like, I just see Hamza doing what he does, staying out of the way, being able to change levels at the right time, use his timing, use his level changes, get it to the ground, and dominate from there. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, Gilbert Burns definitely has that fighter's chance, that puncher's chance. And he is a really, really, really good grappler. Grappler, But here's where I think is going to be the difference. I think it's going to be size and strength. You have Gilbert Burns, who, yes, looked awful at 155. He was cutting way too much weight. Dan Hooker kind of ended that whole thing. But I think that tells a story where the fact that he did make 155 before and now he's at 170 and I think if he were to go to 185 I don't think he'd be able to hang with those guys where you have Hamzat Shemayev as I was just saying a few minutes before he could be a three-weight class champ starting at 170 going all the way up to 205 and I think his size his pressure I just if unless he gets clipped or caught like on the ground with a knee bar or an arm bar in some sort of crazy scramble situation I think Hamzat's going to just smash Gilbert Burns. I think he's going to run away with it. And I think he's going to be on his way to a title shot to the winner versus Usman and Leon Edwards. Because who knows if Usman is even going to be the champion a year from now. I mean, he's got that fight against Leon Edwards and Leon is really no slouch. I do have Usman winning that fight. And I do think that this is going to be the setup match for Hamzat and Kamaru Usman probably a year from now. I don't think they're going to fuck with taking any chances with Hamzat if he wins this fight, you know. His hype train can get derailed and he might have to work his way back. Who really knows what's going to happen? So I fucking love MMA. You just don't know what's going to happen on any given night, any given moment. So I'm very excited to see what's going to happen. Personally, I got Hamzat Shemaev in this fight. I think he's going to dominate and be well on his way to a three-division champion in the UFC. The first ever. I think he's going to do it. And I think he's going to be the biggest star we've seen since Conor McGregor, since Khabib. 
and he might even surpass those guys. So I'm very excited to see what happens. Guys, tell me if I'm fucking insane in the comment section. Tell me if you guys think I'm right. Let me know what you guys think. I want to know your opinions. Please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Mr. Mustache MMA News out. Thank you, fight fans. Let's fucking go.